All righty. We have a new one from Pandemonium here. She's been posting a lot lately, I guess trying to get caught up. Okay, her videos were quite a bit out of date, um, a couple months there, and uh, now she's posting just about every day or every other day, and uh, they're getting caught up. Now, this was Iowa, right? They were in, they were in Iowa. They met with uh, uh, the, 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 the full tiny house, Dana and Steve, and Dana and Steve had that in their video ooh, a couple weeks ago, so they're getting caught up. We're a couple weeks now, anyway delayed anyway so uh here's john there up on the roof fixing the tear in the rubbery covering for the roof that I, they looks like something hit the roof and and busted one of the one of these one of the cap things there and um the, the vent things the vent things and then maybe made a tear in the roof they were they were they were passing there were some big trucks huge big oversized trucks that were passing them the other day and who knows? Something flew off and, and made a tear there. So they did a duct tape temporary repair, and then they John's there making a more permanent repair with the right kind of uh, repair kit thingy dingy. Anyway, of course, there's the meetup with uh, Dana, full tiny house. Yeah, there they are, Aja and John, just friends. Yeah. I don't know how he does it. Kevin there, 30 and a wake up, live streaming there from his uh, hotel room there in Bangkok, Thailand. Uh, six hours and four minutes last night, or yeah, yeah, whatever. And, you know, that's during the day in Thailand. So it's not like he's there at night with nothing. You know, what's there to do in Thailand, Bangkok, Thailand, you know, at night? There's nothing to do there. It's boring. So, I mean, yeah, I guess he's still in quarantine or something. But and then he did, and this seems like this comes after a three or four, this was after a five hour live stream the day before. Jeez, Louise. Uh, I, what do you do? I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Well, what do I, you know, hey, Thailand, you know, nothing to do there, right? Yeah. I know one here from Graham Cracker Rady there. Um, <laughs> Out of, he's out at the property. I don't know. He's driving around in uh, northern Arizona there, and they're getting lots of rain with the monsoons, and uh, and uh, there's there's gigantic puddles in the road. Gigantic puddles left over from some of the heavy rains, and will he make it through the puddles without getting stuck? You know, I presume this, it looks like, you know, from those previous videos, these are the roads that probably lead up to the property. Ah. <clears throat> You know, and, and maybe, maybe people shouldn't be putting those in. No, this was somewhere else. This was somewhere else. This was, this was a big uh, compound um, with a lot of tents. This was a, a, someone else's property. Let's just say that. Anyway, so, but anyway, he goes out there and uh, does some camping. And uh, yeah, there, a whole bunch of tents, a whole bunch of tents there. This is not the property. This is someone else's property. Okay, never mind. Uh, but anyway, so, you know, there are the rains there. They've been getting monsoonal rains there in Arizona, and it's been real nasty. It is time for the Camo Dave new uh, weather report. Camo Dave weather, Camo Dave weather, Camo Dave weather report. There could be some pop-up thunder boomers along the East Coast today. Watch out for those. They're already starting to form there in Central West Virginia, but we're expecting some more to form there, some along the coast there, but we're expecting with the daily heat today. It's gonna be a hot one throughout most of the East Coast, and uh, yeah. A lot of, you know, nothing much going on right now. We got a couple storms there up in Maine. Florida, you know, typical morning there. Nothing major right now, but I think we're going to get some more pop-ups later today. Uh, some Okay, this could this could be stuff. South Dakota there, kind of down into central Iowa. Maybe, uh, maybe some big storms down there in central southern Illinois for you-know-who. But right at the moment, Utah, I mean, you know, Arizona looks pretty good. There are, look at this, though, there are quite a bit of storms there in, um, there's m m monsoonal flow has flown over more toward uh, California there. And Salton Sea, maybe a, sl a slim city, s slim potato head city. No, Slab City could be getting a few showers today. Borrego Springs could be getting some rain. Oh, look, even San Diego. And look at this big cluster moving there towards uh, Los Angeles. Mm, I don't know. Jake McCollum, better check those wiper blades. Yeah, the Pacific Northwest, it looks pretty good there. Uh, oh, maybe a little bit of showers there up in northern British Columbia. But I, if Lime Screw One, I wouldn't worry about it. I mean, hey, want to shout out to Lime Screw One yesterday. I was uh, on his chat, which he takes down immediately after they're done. 
but we had a very nice discussion. We touched on a few political issues, you know. I enjoy chatting with him because he's, he's a pretty smart guy, you know. Even though we don't agree on everything, which, you know, we, I do enjoy a, a lively dispute, a lively uh, discussion with a uh, intelligent member of the human race, and he is definitely that. Uh, this was a sad one. Maximus Minibus Mary, no more Brimfield packing up in a decision. I, I'm not a guy that tears up much. You know, I'm not one of those crybabies, but I, uh, I did get a kind of a... Mary's had a tough time there. She she also she has the little schooly bus, which is really cute and all that. But she also is like she's an antiques dealer. She does collect antiques, and you know, and and she was uh, at this um, big, huge uh, flea market there up in Massachusetts. And the weather was bad. It rained the whole weekend. She fell and hit her head on her bus. Uh, and, 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 you know, and, and she just, yeah, she, she was, you know, so she was packing up a lot of the stuff that didn't sell. In fact, she was giving it away at the end there. Really, um, touching video there about her life. You know, again, that's why I enjoy her channel, Maxwell's Minibus Mary. She talks a lot about her life. Uh, it's, it's much more than just a nomadic channel, even though she's not been particularly nomadic lately, being up there in Massachusetts, you know, dealing with all the issues on the bus. And she does, uh, at least I think she has plans to finally do some traveling sometime later this year. But, uh, and she's talking about Massachusetts, how she loves the state, she's from there. But at the same time, it is, you know, especially right now, it's the weather's so bad and rainy and chilly and yicky and whatever. And uh, anyway, she's talking about maybe not doing Brimfield anymore. They, uh, because it's just, it's just too hard for her to do that. She said some years she has good... She has uh, good luck there, but this year was a bad one. I think she should go back again and continue doing it because, you know, next year will be better. Next year will be better. Uh, this was not a good day for, it was not a good time right now for the Campulance man. Man, he's had a lot of problems. David there in uh, beautiful uh, New York State right now, he orders this bike from China, you know, motorcycle bike from China, and it arrives, and the chipping container, it's all been busted up, okay? It looks like somebody dropped it off the back of a truck. I don't know. It's got all these problems with it. It's, it, you know, he's really really upset about that and this just comes after all the problems with his dog lefty you know getting his paw all busted up there and having to take lefty to the vet and have it you know certain but they do a little bit of uh, stitches or something on it i don't know anyway so david is uh you know he's he's trying to get his uh camp he's trying to get the campulance uh back on the road his ambulance and it's been a lot of work and he still has a lot more work to do, I think. And but now his bike, he or, you know he's he's really into these bikes, okay. And apparently this this uh, motorcycle thing came and it was really busted up, and uh, and he's really upset about that. And he has to deal now. He has to deal with all that. All this stuff was missing from the package. There's the bike. The yeah, it was all messed up. It was. It looked like some truck had banged into it or something. Anyway, so uh, he's. Uh, trying to get that all rectified and uh, get the vehicle fixed up. Luckily, the one good news that uh, Lefty the Pitbull is feeling much better. And there he is, but he's like, he, you know, he's like, Dad, we need to get back out on the road quick. Yeah, <laughs> I think David does. He, he needs some of that traveling. You know, that's good for him. And uh, I think he's getting a little bit of, uh, what do you call it, cabin fever. Uh, cooped up there in one spot for a little too long. So hopefully Campion's Man will be back out on the road soon, one of these days, and hopefully with a bike that uh, is in good shape. We'll see. I went from Rosie back from Mexico. That was enjoyable. I enjoyed Mexico. You know, I'll probably, uh, I don't think I'll, I have no plans in my life to make it to Mexico City. Sitting in the back seat of my car. Remember that song? Who did that? It's a former Beatle. No, it's one of the Beatles is still alive. One of the two Beatles still alive. Oh, anyway, a good one from Rosie. Good, good stuff from Rosie there. Check out her her trip there to um, beautiful Mexico. And she's back now, and she's said she's going to be heading out again real quick. So uh, we'll see. She said she said that sometime this year, this summer, she's heading east. She's heading east to North Carolina, and we're going to have a Kim O'Day, uh, Rosie. Uh, 
get together. So I don't know, you know, if the summer's quickly progressing, so she better make those plans if she's planning to do it. Dave 2D, giving Jesus, giving Jesus a haircut. Okay, he did a uh, almost three hour live stream yesterday, AKA Tony 3D with them. All right. One of his uh, painting videos there. He's, he actually is a very talented painter, yes. All right, we got uh, Farsty Farce doing an alpine meetup there up in the mountains of Canada. So that's pretty cool. Uh, so yeah, that's, that's nice to see him uh, hanging out with some other people. You know, he does look kind of lonely sometimes, but they're doing some you know, really good, as always. I love Farsty Forest channel because of all the wonderful photography too. It just goes up in the mountains and it's just so absolutely beautiful. By the way, we also saw a meet up there uh, over the weekend from Carolyn's RV Life there in Green Bay, Wisconsin. She had a nice little meet up there and uh, you know, it's one of those things where she's got the camera in the, the phone in the portrait mode and then she turns it sideways and then she goes sideways and I don't know. She needs to, uh, uh, up her game a little bit on some of those uh, on the fly live streams like that. <laughs> I don't know, man. Uh, I don't know. Uh, is it safe to drink the tap water in Mexico? Good channel, Kuru. Kuru, I think his name is. Uh, uh, two expats in Mexico. I like this channel a lot. And uh, check it out. You know, pro it basically, no, it's not. Basically, the answer to this and the short answer is please do not drink the tap water in Mexico. And Kuru gives us a lot of reasons why you shouldn't. He also says that the two countries that come on the list of the most where you shouldn't drink the water, the, you know, Mexico's number one and it's tied with Thailand. Thailand, do not drink the tap water in Thailand. So and that's just a, a little, I, I presume, uh, Kevin there, 30 and a wake up, is uh, realizing that. You do not drink the tap water in Thailand. <laughs> she left. Yeah, again, Element Fan Life is really playing this one out. His girlfriend Shannon there, she left. She left the other day because she has to go back to California. She's staying with her mom there in California, and she has some business to do. Okay, so that's why she went back. Okay, and he's playing this up like, you know, oh, I'm all alone, oh, and there he is in, is, there he's in bed dreaming about her, <laughs> okay, he's dreaming that she's there, but she isn't, she's 3,000 miles away, so he said he's gone back to his old self, uh, you know, his old single self, he's going to Olive Garden, poor, you know, he poor roughing, roughing it, really roughing it at Olive Garden because she does not like Olive Garden and he has a gift card for Olive Garden. So uh, he's really roughing it. Okay, I, uh, I got to make, uh, make do with Olive Garden. Anyway, um, anyway, so, uh, you know, he's, he, apparently uh, Shannon's going to be back there on the West Coast in, and there she is. There we get a uh, satellite view of her from, from the satellite, no. Uh, anyway, there she is back there in, um, I guess, it, yeah, back in her old family house there in, in San Francisco area. And she's got to do some stuff there. And she says it might be six weeks before she and Nate get back. I mean, Nate could always drive out west, you know, take the, the JDM, Japanese domestic vehicle, out west. And, uh, they, you know, hang out in her driveway there, in mom's driveway. I don't know, man. Nate's all alone. Poor Nate. Uh, why did she leave? <laughs> because she had business. That's all. She'll be back. More journey continuing their uh, camping e explorations there in Hawaii. I'm actually starting to like that now. I'm glad they're camping. You know, they were just staying in like Airbnbs and stuff earlier. And um, let's uh, that's the other Nate and Marissa there and the two kids. They are camping in. Um, yeah. Anyway, uh, Creativity RV Robin there, uh, really good video on RV camping apps and what's good and not. You know, we talk about a lot of um, YouTubers that are faking being happy on the road. I actually think Creativity RV Robin is one of the ones that is really um, enjoying it. She re I really think she loves being on the road and uh, the traveling. All right, uh, 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 Mercedes and John, right? See, I'm getting these couples all right now. Yeah, Mercedes and John, yeah. Anyway, uh, they are continuing working on Thunder Canyon. That is the ba the um, campground they bought down there in Alabama. Uh, well, yeah, yeah, they're having some issues getting everything fixed up, and they are encouraging their viewers to come out and visit them and uh, take a look around and see what needs to be done, and you know, maybe you could help out. I don't know, you know. 
Anyway, so uh, you know, they, it's they're not really close. They, I mean, they close the campground gates for you know, temporarily while they work on some things. But the campground is getting ready to uh, have some real people come out there. And uh, so it looks like, uh, yeah, there's a lot of rain, a lot of rain this summer there in Alabama. So I'm sure everything is nice and green and the skeeters are big and fat. But uh, but anyway, so, uh, you know, whatever. Yeah, it's going to be interesting. I'm enjoying. I'm enjoying the. You know, let's let's see. Now they got to do a lot of work on the thing. It's going to take a lot of work to get that campground up to snuff, and uh, that'll take a while and be lots and lots of content for you know who. Yes, the RVR couple. And uh, Trip and Tracy there and Harv. Trip and Tracy and Harv doing a live stream. Tracy, you know, she got a divorce from her hubby down there in Florida a while back, and then she has been. Um, she's been busy um, kind of trying to figure out what to do with the rest of her life. She's got a real nice van. She got it all fixed up. And then she was going to meet with this Harv guy. He's uh, somebody who watched her channel from Ohio. And they met up there in the mountains of North Carolina back a couple months ago. And then they've been, they broke up, they got back together. They broke up, they got back together. They did that a couple times and now they're back together again. And now, so I chatted with Tracy the other day. She's was going to sell the van, but she's decided to keep it. Now, she had the uh, driver's, the, yeah, the passenger seat taken out, so she had more room in the van, and she couldn't drive around with Harv together in the van because he'd have to sit in the back somewhere, and well, that wasn't good. So she got, she's got the seat replaced, or she's getting the seat replaced so they can both sit up front, and she is going to be heading up to Ohio to hang out with uh, Harv for for whatever, for whatever the future will bring. So all our best to Trip and Tracy. Hope everything's okay. We love her. She's one of my favorite channels, and uh, she has got a nice sense of humor, and I think Harv does too. Well, their sense of humors, I think they have very different sense of humors, you know, but they both have a sense of humor. So it'd be interesting. It'd be, you know, what it would be, it would be a great ABC sitcom if they would uh, <laughs> sign a deal. I don't know. <laughs> Harv, Tracy and Harv, coming up tonight at 8 p.m. on ABC. Into the Mystery Jet, Uber Eats. Uber Eats, yeah. And he's back, he split up with Evie, and he's back up there in, um, oh, uh, went up back up to Oregon, so I guess he's uh, figuring out ways to make some money. He said he wants to start up a website. He wants to deal with uh, reptilian stuff. He's into reptiles now, and he has been posting uh, quite a bit more lately we had a nice visit from david wilkes there from uh, beautiful south carolina uh and uh he was on the he was on the uh we had a very very interesting live chat on saturday night call-in show and he was there and uh, a lot of cool people were there at the call-in show and uh, dave's rv life was there we had a we had a lot of fun uh, we you call people were calling in Gosh, I want to thank, who do I want to thank? I want to thank uh, Grumpy Old Lady, John Sweet, Desrat, Mike, uh, Danai. Who else do I want to thank? Uh, Holly Beth, Shamay, Brian, Brenda, David, of course, Lumpneck, Lumpneck, and uh, the, the regular gorgeous for all your kind of uh, support there. And we had a real nice time. It is the party central now. You know, it is Party Central, 7 p.m. every Saturday night, Party Central on Kim O'Dave Call-In Show. And we had some wacky doodle calls. And anyway, so uh, I'm going to try to go visit David his compound sometime this fall. I got some plans this fall. I want to go to uh, Arizona, Phoenix, and I want to go down to South Carolina and visit... Uh, yeah, so one of my one of my viewers has said go. I can go down there and uh, hang out there at a beautiful Airbnb for free in Myrtle Beach. So that might be fun. So that will that would be fun. So anyway, uh, what else? That's about it. That is that will do it for this morning. Thank you so much for watching. It is the twenty sixth of July, twenty twenty one, Monday. Going to be another hot one here. we got a hot week coming up here in beautiful Morganton, North Carolina. Temperatures up into the mid-90s, yeah. Summer is, yeah, summer is playing itself out, uh, which is, uh, yeah. What do, you, what do you expect for North Carolina in late July? Mid-90s, right? Hey, thanks for watching. You have a wonderful rest of your Monday. Talk to you later, everybody. Oh, 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 this box, that box you see? It's for her. It's for her. This box. It's for her. It's for her. It's the. Uh
bug out. The bug out bag for Shimei, one of my top mods, is uh, fifth. No, it's like uh, seventy three point five percent complete. It's her birthday next month. And, uh, she's she's gonna get a nice surprise. Oh, yeah, log under.